It is my last day in Champaign, Illinois. This is not my best side. I don't have any makeup on right now. But I did just go get my nails done and my feet. So um, that's a plus. Washing clothes at a friend's apartment. So I'm about to head back over there to um, finish washing my clothes and just finish packing, you know, getting stuff together to leave tomorrow. But yeah, I am ready to go, honestly. Like, there's just nothing left for me. Nothing left for me in Champaign, Illinois. And I'm so grateful that my new job is remote and they really don't care where I work from as long as I get my work done. And if you know me, baby, you know I work, okay? I do what I'm supposed to do. So that's not even gonna be a problem. But I really am just very happy to be going home, to be getting out of the Midwest, out of the cornfields, closer to my friends and closer to my family. Although, you know, I don't plan on staying home for too long. As I said before, you know, this is just a summertime, summertime trip. You mad? Huh? Are you mad? Come here. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. Hi, bud. Hi, blue man. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Sit, sit, good boy, give me paw, good boy, you so smart, other paw, good boy, I don't have no treat, there you go. Alright, it is 6.12 in the a.m. And I am about to hit the road back home. So I would say it's my last time in Champaign, Illinois, but it's not. <laughs> I couldn't fit everything in my car, so I had to leave it with in a friend's storage unit. So I will be back, um, but it feels good to not to, to have to live here anymore. So I'm going to stop and it's so cold. I'm gonna stop and get some tea, and then I'm going to get on the road, so. And this is one of my favorite parts about driving home, especially leaving early in the morning, is you get to watch the sunrise. And especially when you're going across, you know, the Midwest, it has all that flat ground, so you can really see it, like, so beautifully, and I love it. And it was just really peaceful, you know, to start my drive, and to kind of be on the road when there's not a lot of other cars on the road. So I really enjoyed this part of my trip. So I just made it to Indiana, which it's actually really close to Illinois. It took me less, it took me like 30 minutes to get to Indiana. But um, so far so good, not a lot of cars on the road. Got to see the sunrise, which was like really, really beautiful. Um, turn that volume down but uh yeah so i'm in indiana right now and next up is ohio and ohio that's the one you gotta look out for ohio drivers are the worst i thought florida drivers were bad but no ohio drivers are something really different but yeah in indiana right now you know, the closer I get to home, even though I'm still pretty far, like, I just feel so much, I feel a lightness. Like, I really feel like a weight off of my shoulders. And even though I'm going back home, not necessarily going somewhere new, I can feel myself stepping into some sort of newness. You know, I realize that something, something is gonna come out of me going back home, going back to my roots. So I'm excited, I am. It's like the closer I get, I, I felt like I had, before I had a lot of anxiety, like just anxiousness around going home. But I think now that I'm actually in the process of going and not thinking about
about it, but actually doing it, my mind feels more, my mind feels more at ease and I feel, I feel ready to, to embrace this journey. Yeah. All right, so, um, Pat, oh, where am I? Okay, so I made it past Indianapolis and I'm like, 90 miles from Dayton, Ohio. But, um, not sure how far. I know Indiana's a quick state to get through. It's Ohio, man. That thing. Watch out, pothole on road ahead. Pothole. Oh, shit. Sure. Um, but, yeah, so far the ride's been good. Um, I mean, people still don't know how to drive. I don't understand why people are coasting like legit coasting in the uh passing lane like where do y'all learn to drive but so far the road the, the ride has been really good probably stop somewhere in ohio to use the bathroom and maybe get like a little snack i had some tea i had some earl grey tea and i don't i don't drink caffeine anymore but you know i got caffeine for the road and when I tell you, as soon as I finished that tea, my heart started racing. I was like, oh, no. But I feel better now. Definitely feel more relaxed. I've been chewing on this thing. And it's been helping. But, yeah. So, I'll update y'all when I get a little closer to home. So I am in Huber Hi Oh, there's people behind me getting out their car. What are they doing? Oh shit, oh, they're switching seats. Um, but anyways, so I am in Huber Heights, Ohio, uh, right next door to Columbus, trying to find uh, somewhere to get like food. I don't know if I turned on the wrong spot, but I know I usually um, stop in Huber Heights and go to like Panera and I'll sit for a little bit and stretch or whatever but I think I I think I turned made the wrong turn so I'm gonna alright so my camera ended up like almost dying so I really couldn't record more of my ride but as you can see as soon as I got home I got to work um this is officially the third bedroom I've lived in in this house um this used to be my brother's room growing up so hence the blue but um you know <laughs> anyways but this was my brother's uh childhood bedroom so as you can see right there a point of frustration because I do not like this bedroom suit um it's cheap <laughs> and two it was broken so I took it apart because I'd honestly get better sleep on the floor. And then I had to dust immediately because the, oh, <laughs> you see the ass poking out though? You see him, you see him? Yes, clean eating and yoga and running. But um, anyways, this room has not been lived in for about two years. So um, nobody's been back here. So it's super dusty. You can even see the dust on the dresser. So. I am, um, you know, cleaned up a little bit, dusted, just trying to really make it um, comfortable for me and then unpacking because like I said, I'm going to be here at least through the summer. So I wanted to, you know, act like I'm actually living here and not live out of trash bags. I asked my mom, I was like, mom, whose uh, velour outfit is that in the drawer? Um, brand new velour outfit. She was like, Oh, that was your Christmas present. <laughs> hey, yo. I really feel like somebody's aunt with this oversized velour outfit on, but guess what? I'm gonna wear it. 
because one, I donated most of my clothes. You see the little fro poking out in the back. But um, yeah, I'm absolutely gonna wear this. I'm about to go grocery shopping in it. Nobody knows me, so here I am, comfortable. Thank you for watching my journey home and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. So thanks for tuning in, bye.